Want to fight climate change? You should help protect sharks. Here's why. In the ocean, seagrasses capture and store a lot of carbon. Per acre, they can sequester more carbon than rainforests. But not all seagrass meadows are the same. In places where people have killed all the big sharks, seagrasses suffer. Without sharks around, herbivores like dugongs and green sea turtles have nothing to be afraid of. Their behavior changes. They munch seagrass down to the ground and even rip up the plant's roots and eat those too. Soon, there's nothing but patchy, quick-growing seagrass left. In the worst cases, grazers can strip away everything. But when big sharks are protected, herbivores avoid spots where their predators hang out. Slow-growing seagrass species get the chance to recover in these places. Dugongs and sea turtles even change their dining habits when sharks are around. Instead of ripping up the seagrass, they just nibble on the tops of the leaves before moving on. This helps the plants grow back sooner. Over time, sharks help these underwater meadows become more complex. Diverse, slow-growing seagrass meadows store more carbon than overgrazed ones. But there's a problem with the shark carbon cycle. Because of overfishing, some shark populations have sunk to perilous lows. Globally, one quarter of sharks and their relatives are threatened with extinction. So, if we want to protect the climate, we should protect sharks too.